Hello! Today we are going to see how to launch a Tartable 3 simulation in Gazebo in only 5 minutes. And in order to do that, we are going to use the ROS Development Studio that you can access for free at rdstheconstructsim.com. Then um, once you access this, you can create a free account and then you will reach this page that is the one that controls the projects. Go to your My Projects uh, place and then create a new project. Let's call it Turtlebot3Sim, for example. And this is a description. Is like a, a, this is a simulation of the Turtlebot3 from official repo of Robotics. Robotics Robotics is the company that has built the simulation and the robot also of course. So now we have here our Tatable 3 simulation and we do is to what we do is to open it. It's open. Uh, here it is the description. Okay and run. So the system initializes and we are in. Now what are we going to do first? Let's go and then clone the repository of the simulation that Robotics company provides. So for that, let's open here, sorry, a shell. And let's put it here and the shell. And uh, in here, we have to select the workspace where we are going to put the simulation. So if you do an LS, you will see that we have three different workspaces, the CAD King workspace, the notebook workspace and the simulation workspace. Since we are going to create a simulation, we have to go to the simulation workspace. So let's do that. Simulation workspace. Then inside the source, we are going to clone the repo of Robotis uh, simulation of the Tartable 3. And, and you can access this uh, repo at this page. I will include the address to this page in the notes of the video so you can check it later don't worry and here you will see that there is a, a way of launching the simulation but how can we get this code it's explained here above it's uh, here in this line here okay so let's copy here this and uh, let's go back to the rds to the simulation and apply and uh, see it has been cloned Great. So, how can we uh, check this um, this code? Is by coming here and going to the code editor, for example, and then we'll see that this contains the. Let me move it a little bit and make it bigger, so we can put it here. Bigger. Yes, and here we have the selected the CADKIN workspace, but the one that we are interested in is the simulation workspace. And here inside the source, we have the Tartable 3 simulations. Great, all the packages that we have to load. But yet, it's not uh, enough having this, as the simulation is explained in here, is that we have to use this uh, software package dependencies that we have also to install in order to be able to use the Tartable 3 simulation. Where can we find this? It's included uh, here in the, um, let me see, PC software here, then install dependent packages. Great, yes. And the three, the two packages, additional packages that we have to install are those ones. This one, the Tartable 3 messages, so I'm going to copy and do the same procedure here again so i'm going to copy and move it here i'm going to do a git clone and go for the other one that is main packages and stuff that is required for the tartable 3 and here we have okay that's a little bit larger Okay, it's downloading the main Tartable 3 package. And as you can see here, while it is downloading, this is going to be updated. So I can refresh that at any time. So I can have here, you see, here's the Tartable 3 messages that we have downloaded, the Tartable 3 simulations and the Tartable 3 pa new packages that 
just download. Okay, now next step is to go back one and compile all those packages. Then I do catkey make. So it's going to take a little bit to compile this. And then once it is compiled, we can just launch. You will see. And in the meantime, let me show you that which launch file we are going to execute. Okay, because there are se several. So here, if you go to the Tatable 3 simulations, you will see here inside the Tatable 3 gazebo that there is a launch directory. And inside here, you have several files. The one that we are going to launch now is this one. You can experiment with the others. Okay, Tatable 3 empty wall. Then inside this, we have that uh, a parameter that we have to set previously to launch. That is the Tartable 3 model that we want to launch because, as you know, there are at present two possible uh, Tartable simulations, Tartable robots, the Waffle, that is this one, and the Burger. So uh, you have to select that by specifying this parameter here. Since we are going to launch it through the RDS, we cannot specify this parameter as a shell parameter, so we have to hard code it here. So I'm going to write down here the name of the robot that I want to launch in the simulation. I'm going to specify, for example, the burger. So I just do that, and now we are set up. Everything is compiled here. Then the launch file, I have selected the robot that I want to launch, and then the what remains is to launch, of course. So for that, we go here to simulations and then select the launch file from my simulation workspace. So here there are other simulations that we already provided off the shelf. But in this case, we want to launch the simulation that we have in our simulation workspace. So I select the launch file. Here I have the launch file, but I have to select the one that I am interested in today. You know, the packages of Tartarot contain a lot of launch files. So I have to know which one. And the one that we have to launch is the Tartarot 3 empty wall launch. The one that I have modified here. So I press launch. And then the simulation will appear here in a few seconds. Let's see. So those are the messages that are, uh, let me see. These are the messages of the simulation of Gazebo while it is loading. And then it has loaded. We can see it beneath. Let me put it in the middle and a little bit larger. Yes. And let's hide the log. And here it is, the Tartable 3 simulation. OK. So far, so good. Wasn't that easy? And there is an option here that we can use for, let me see if I can find it for launching uh, the this is the tatable simulation and then to move the robot around and let me see is this one here so we can launch it i'm copying this command and here we can launch it here or i can create another shell launch it in another shell maybe so let's see and then i'm going to paste and by doing this, we should be able to move the robot around by pressing the keys. And here it is. And here it goes, the robot. Yes. Well, I'm spinning it around. Let me let me stop it <laughs> and move it. And move it. Whip. Yes, we got it there. OK. Yeah, so well, it depends on the, the keys that you press, of course. So uh, then the robot moves around. OK, so far so good. So that's it, how you can have a Tartable 3 simulation running in, in just a few minutes by using the ROS Development Studio. I hope this is, was useful for you so you can start developing for Tartable 3 very, very fast. Remember that everything that you develop here, you can just download afterwards to the robot and use it there directly. So that's the end of the video. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you are interested in this kind of videos. We are publishing a new video every day. And if you press the bell in the subscription channel, you will be notified when we publish a new video with this useful information. So thank you very much for coming and see you in the next video.